To prepare transparent wood, we do it in two steps. The first step is to remove the color from the wood. We then obtain a white wood, which we then impregnate with a bio-based polymer from limonene in order to remove or reduce light scattering within this material. The result is a material that is completely transparent because of the refractive index matching between the wood and the bio-based polymer. You are using a material that has locked in carbon dioxide inside, and this is done throughout its growth naturally. And you tune it into a new product that will ha also have a, possibly a long service life, such as for transparent wood. Carbon dioxide that is locked in will be locked in there for way longer, possibly even longer than even a living tree. So at the end, maybe you could even achieve negative carbon uh, emissions. Wood is a great material for many other reasons, because it's built up in a way that you can actually extract components from, from it and use them in a different, uh, different ways. For example, you can extract the wood fibers to make paper or napkins, which we're all familiar with, or many other materials to replace plastic. You can also extract the nanofibers within the wood, and then you can make transparent nanopapers, for example, packaging applications and so on. But the advantage of using wood as a bulk material is that it is very resistant. It also is a great insulator material for building applications. And also preserving the wood structure and wood grain, I think, is also very aesthetic for many interior design applications.